Hey, hello, Ross Moore. Let's wrap up the month of May by going out to the Smithsonian Institute uh, Museum website. In particular, we're going to go out to the Asian Art Museum of the Smithsonian, and here is their uh, web address, the URL, you know, form a resource locator. So it's, it is asia.si.edu. So the SI stands for the uh, Smithsonian Institute. So let's go type that into a browser. asia.si.edu. So right on the top, um, they have their COVID announcement. Um, you could close that once you read it. It is the National Museum of Asian Art. So you see cycling across their homepage uh, for this site is uh, the various uh, featured items. So you can uh, scroll across and click on anything that piques your interest or scroll down and look further into the more featured items. So go back to the top. So here are the featured items, collections, spotlight, uh, Asian art at home, podcasts, you know, those are just audio listening recordings. Uh, Teaching China with the Smithsonian, uh, Asian Art at Home again, and uh, online tours. So if we were to click on this, what they do offer is uh, these Zoom style tours. Now, these are by appointments. You would have to uh, fill out their online reservation form and it says for 10 or more people, you know, they mainly specialize in um, virtual field trips, but certainly adults um, groups or uh, your club can sign up for a uh, live personal uh, virtual tour. So you would fill this out and for second date, third date choices, whatnot. But just to casually browse through the website, Let's go back to the home page and look at the various items down here. Again, this is just an introduction to the website. We can't uh, touch on every featured item here. I'm just trying to keep this brief. Uh, point you to here and certainly go out and explore and view all these items. So um, here's uh, one featured item, food. It's uh, one thing that most people can agree on is uh, <laughs> eating good food. So what are they talking about here? Is it uh, videos, uh, featured uh, upcoming events? So this is coming up on June 9th. Uh, you could come back here on that date, set your calendar. Now is this uh, West Coast time? Looks like you have to sign up. It's free. You have to register, just like uh, you were to sign up with a uh, Zoom meeting that would give you the uh, invite through your email. Uh, another item on uh, June 18th, 7 p.m. And further down the calendar, you know, see it's free, uh, but you do have to register. Let's go back. Other items. It's like they cycle through this four tiles here. So other upcoming events you can um, mark your calendars for. May 26th. That's uh, coming up. Now this is a film festival, so is this a virtual? Um, here you could see the trailer of these featured films. Um, it says you could stream it here. Now there may be a, a fee, such as a pay-per-view fee. And 
the festival has started and it goes through June 6. Again, this is the Korean Film Festival, so feature Korean film producers, directors, actors. So we scroll further down. Other parts of the museum, obviously, unless you plan to go out there and visit when they are open, we're just here to look at what we could see on the website. Upcoming exhibits. Okay, if we look at the menu item up here, uh, visit, exhibitions, events, collections, learn, research, and support. So let's see current exhibits. Again, this is all under the uh, Smithsonian. Now that Smithsonian has over 19 museums, and uh, you know, it's partially funded by uh, federal uh, tax dollars, but they do uh, ask for people to donate as well. So current exhibits. Now this one is actual a um, virtual of sorts. There's a short uh, video. I'll click on that. Now it says 360, so it's 360 degrees. So it is a video. We could play it, and we could go to full screen. Now there's just some background sound effects and. Uh, music. So with these 360 you see that hand you click on a mouse if you're on a computer and then you drag it to look around. You can look up, down, turn up. There's more sound effects. So this is a, a movie three minutes, 24 seconds, but we are able to interact with it. So they change the scene. Some ruins, and then do a superimpose some other imagery onto it. Look up, round. So these are shot with uh, a 360 degree uh, dual lens cameras, and some of it's uh, saw CGI computer graphic imagery added to it. So these are kind of fun. featured, uh, this is Age Old Cities VR. Let's go back to exhibits. So we were just here. Now we can go to the next one. A 
uh, it features the uh, the Japanese artist uh, Hokusai, known for his block and painting. Uh, some of these are narrated uh, discussions. Others are featuring the work itself. Um, here is uh, was famous for. Uh, the series, but the famous one is the uh, wave. So what most people hello know, everyone may not know. And Frank Sultans. So these the are Japan featured Foundation in various galleries. Of Japanese art part of the Freer the, Gallery of Art and Arthur M. Sackler Gallery, the Smithsonian's National Museum of Asian Art. I would like to invite you on a journey back in time and space. So here is the famous. Uh, I could close this. Is also featuring um, other artworks with the details of the wave. Now, if you just look where you're at now in our YouTube channel, you can actually uh, view a painting class put on by Elena, step by step painting, to try and uh, recreate uh, something very similar to the big wave. You know, it's, it's up to you and your uh, skill. You don't need any. With Elena, she does the uh, step by step tutorial on how to. Uh, to paint these things. These times. What you see here, though, is a unique breaking waves. So you could hear he the, was 88 uh, years old. The gallery's curator uh, discussing the imagery of the artist and the techniques. More videos. Narrated. Again, another featured item. Now, since we cannot be at the uh, museum, we try to see as much as we can through the website. And this is more of a more like a teaser commercial, trying to more or less advertise uh, this exhibit. So you're not going to see a whole lot in this under three minute video, but th there are more items down here that lets you virtually, so to speak, visit the exhibit. So here is another interactive. Uh, it's not necessarily a video, it's just a way to look at the item by grabbing and rotating it. You know, some if you ever shopped online, some retail places let you do this with shoes or clothing or items. So you're grabbing it, clicking and dragging and looking at it through the different angles now. It says to go full screen here, but it doesn't it does not go full screen for us, so zoom in and out. I'm using the wheel on my mouse, but yeah, unfortunately it doesn't go full screen here. Uh, more uh, about the items, uh, x-ray imagery, diagrams. Now you could scroll through this, different angles. We cannot grab or manipulate, but they have photographs from different angles of these items. And you could click the X to close it, open up another item. Another um, rotate three-dimensional item imagery. More detail. Zooming in. Uh, 
and we'll go back to exhibits through their menu or use your back button on your browser. Quite a bit to explore just on the featured items. A little slow on loading. very fragile. Definitely don't let the kids run wild in this exhibit. <laughs> Does not let us zoom in, but there are pictures that are closer to see more detail. But again, this is featuring the room, so we're looking at the, the room. Let's see what this is. Online features. Now, if you've seen my uh, Google's uh, virtual museum, where you can actually, just like if you're using Google Street View, navigate through the museums, they don't seem to offer this on on this site. But they do feature the each piece and the discussions. Again, quite a bit to explore. I encourage you to go out to this site. Again, here is the address asia.si.edu. Now go check it out. Spend you know, as much time as you want, um, you don't have to take it all in in one sitting. Of course, you know, visit whenever you do have free time, uh, you know, take it all in uh, at your own leisure. Bye.